Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot, and we're here today to do your weekly pick a card reading. Um, this is going to be love and general. Uh, this is going to go from July 30th through August 5th, okay? So today we're using the Gilded Tarot, the Rider Waite Tarot, the Marcellus Tarot, the Oceanic Tarot, and we also have a Romance Angels Oracle card, which I will do last um, for each pile. So um, I'm just going to be quiet for a minute, let you guys pick either we've got the Stone, the Amethyst, or the Crystal Ball. So I'm just going to be quiet for a second and let you guys think about which pile that you guys want. Okay, so let's get started here with the stone, and I'll show you your first four cards and then the oracle card last. Okay, so in the Oceanic Tarot, you guys get the Page of Wands. The keyword is creativity. Um, this could be a Sagittarius or another fire sign. You guys in the Marcellus got Rene de Baston. Uh, this is the Queen of Wands, so another fire sign could be a Leo. In the Rider Waite deck, you guys get the King of Wands. Uh, so more fire energy. You've got Aries here, so you've got every element of fire in this reading. So there could be three different people or um, you could be dealing with a fire sign that's very prevalent. Okay, and you guys in the Gilded deck, you guys got the Three of Wands. Okay, so first let's go over the Page of Wands here. Like I said, this could be a fire sign. Um, they would be a younger person. Very charming, very chatty. Um, they're going to bring in some good news for you. Um, they're fun and for, ugh, flirtatious. Um, very creative. Um, this news coming in could be news of travel. Uh, it could be communication. It could be a new job. Um... But this card it also speaks of expressing yourself, enjoying, um, you know, entertaining people. Uh, it could be, you know, writing, acting, playing music. Um, but this is a very good card. This is also a transitional card. So whatever's coming in, it could it could be a game changer here. Um, but it, this card is full of creativity, which is very good. Okay, you guys got the three of wands. So the three um, in numerology, three is perfection, three is completion. Um, a lot of people, um, you know, see the three as like an emoji con. The newer um, generation will see it as an emoji con for the heart, which, you know, it could be, you know, whatever's coming in is going to bring love. Um, three is also a spiritual number. Um, you know, on the third day, the earth rose from the water. So this is symbolic of resurrection of life. Um, so whatever this person is contemplating, um, you know, it could be coming in soon. Uh, this person, they've progressed from a two to a three. You know, they're wearing finer, uh, a finer robe here. They're more confident. Um, there's been a passage of time. You see these uh, two wands are now positioned behind him, and he's holding the third wand. Uh, so he's progressed from the two to the three, and, um, you know, this, this could be to deal with love, uh, or it could just be, you know, planning for the future, um, waiting for your ships to come in. Uh, focusing on positive progression, maybe your goals have been realized, and you're really planning for the future here. That's what I see with this card. Next, you guys got the King of Wands. So like I said, this could be an Aries. Um, this person, they're very um, socially active. They like to entertain their friends and their family. Um, they're very protective. They're very understanding. Um, you know, fire is, is an action element. 
Um, so you guys have a lot of action going on here in your in this reading if you pick the first one. Um, this person, they're all also very independent. They're influential. Um, they're very authoritative. They're ambitious. They're a leader um, type. And they're very loyal friend. Um, you know, this could be starting a new project um, because you guys uh, got you know, creativity, and you got um, forward uh, progression. So um, whatever that means in your situation, um, but this definitely could be a person. Um, it Just because it's a king doesn't mean it has to be a male. Uh, it's just a fire energy person. Um, becoming more confident. Uh, I see a lot of confidence in this reading. Okay, so you guys got Rene de Baston. So this is the Queen of Wands. Uh, so you've got the male and the female here. So this could be a um, this could be a partnership between the two people. Um, but she's kind of looking away from him. Uh, he's looking in a different direction, and she's looking in a di different direction. Maybe this person over here is contemplating the future. This person is exploring their creative side. Um, that could be, you know, one of the the things. There's a lot of people watching, so I like to try to uh, fit as much uh, as I can in this one reading for you guys. Um, but. You know, the queen here, she's very independent, just like her counterpartner, uh, the king of wands, passionate, sensual. Um, she, however, does not like to be taken advantage of, uh, and she doesn't like possessiveness in her partner. It really scares her away. Um, but she's very warm. She's very light. Um, she's loyal. She's a great friend. Um, she has a sense of humor. Um, she's rarely in a bad mood. If she is, then it's not going to be long lasting. Um, she loves to have fun. Um, she likes reassurance from her partner. Um, she may on the outside uh, seem very um, confident, but deep down she really needs reassurance from her partner and he may not be giving that to her um, because like I said her counterpartner here he is looking in the other direction so she may not be getting um, you know this uh, affection that she really uh, you know the reassurance that she needs in a relationship um, so that's what I'm feeling here. It may not resonate. If it doesn't, then pick one of these other piles as well. So let's look at, um, your romance angel card. New love. Okay. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay. Like I said, so maybe you and, uh, this, um, queen of wands and king of wands, maybe, um, oh, wow. Weird. With it laying down on the table like this, uh, they're totally looking at each other. Um, sorry. So, um, this could be new love. Okay, the angels are giving you this Valentine card. Uh, it's signaling, signaling that someone new might be coming in. Uh, it's saying the connection is mutual. It may be someone that you already know, um, but it's saying it's safe to explore it. Uh, they're guiding you towards this person. Um, if you're in a committed romance, uh, maybe consult with friends, a trusted person, or your angels before running into another person's arms. Um, if you're single, then keep the faith and be aware that a new partner might be arriving and doors are going to start opening for you as far as your love life. So, um, you know, it could mean... A, a, you know, some of those things for some people and for other people, uh, it may not resonate as much. So, um, that's what I got for number one. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. I have playlists with lots and lots of videos. So go check that out. Uh, number two, if you pick the amethyst, let's look at your first four cards. Okay. So in the um, oceanic deck, you guys got the key, queen of swords. The keyword is resilience. So this could be an air sign, could be a Libra. Okay, in the Marcellus deck, you guys got the three of pentacles. It's upright. 
Um, in the Rider Weight deck, you guys got the Star, beautiful card. And in the Gilded deck, you guys got the King of Pentacles. So we've got a lot of people here again. Um, okay, so let's start with the Queen of Swords here. So like I said, this could be a Libra sign or it could be another air sign. Um, they're, this person, they're very driven. Um, they command respect. Uh, she looks, you know, very, you don't want to mess with this, this person. Uh, she holds her ground. Um, she puts her interests first. Uh, she really can see the truth in a situation. Um, um, she's very intelligent. She's very independent. Uh, she has those leadership qualities. Um, she can bring insight into a situation. Um, she can bring justice into a situation because I said this is the Libra sign. So um, this person can bring justice to a situation. Um, this could be that you need to respond to a final decision made by a woman. Um, but if this is you, then you definitely have strength of character and you're a leader. Uh, you could even be a signal, sig, uh, signal, uh, why am I saying signal? Single parent. I'm sorry, you guys. My tongue is like tongue twisters today. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing with this card. Okay, next you guys get the King of Pentacles. So this could be an earth sign. Um, th this person, as you can see, they look very comfortable in the position that they're in. Um, they could be financially successful. Um, this person, they make an excellent husband or father. Um, it, this person, they're very generous, but they're never stupid with their money. They're very careful when they purchase things. Um, family is very important to them. Family tr tradition is very important to them. Um, this person works very hard and they really see things through to completion. Um, you know, they may be slow moving, but they always stick around till the end of a situation. Um, they are very stubborn. They can be very stubborn, not always, but... Um, that's one of the negative aspects of this person. Um, when he becomes angry, he really doesn't brood over it. He usually uh, gets over it very quickly. Um, but this person, they'll definitely, um, they'll wait around for what they really want. Okay. So it could be these two people. One uh, is very independent and one is a hard worker. Um but they're, they're not looking at each other either. Okay. And then you guys got the star card. I like this card. It's very beautiful. Uh, this could be a water sign uh, or this could be Aquarius. I don't know. I always get water with this uh, because of the water flowing. Um, but this could be an Aquarius or a water sign. Um, this is about meditation, enlightenment, inspiration, um, optimism, achievement. Um, this could be setting goals, being creative, um, trusting in faith, um, desiring, desire to know truths in life. Um, it could be Opportunities in your career or in a relationship um, or prospects for the future. Um, it could also be um, balancing a situation. Um, I mean, she's pouring water here and here. Maybe she's trying to balance a situation. But it's embracing your destiny. Uh, the star card this could also mean like a real star, like um, celebrity status, someone that's very popular. Um, I'm so there's a lot of people here so that watch these videos. So I want to try to incorporate as much information as I can. But this is definitely creativity, trusting in your faith, um, optimism, 
um, desire to know the truth and achievement. So this card, it's, it's a major arcana, so there's a lot that comes with this card. It's a very important card. And then you guys got the three of pentacles. So as I said in the last reading, three is the number of perfection and com um, completion. So um, there's success here. There's success through skill. There's success through work. Uh, increasing your value in the marketplace. Becoming more confident. Becoming established in a career. Um, efforts are going to be rewarded. Uh, this is a three, so it could be small sums at first, um, but it's really it's really establishing yourself in a career um, success and um, you know working hard at your skill to perfect it, uh, becoming more confident in your skills. Okay. So we've gone over all these cards here. So with this, um, I see success. I see enlightenment. Uh, I see a person that's very comfortable financially. I see a person that uh, commands respect. Uh, very independent leader. Leader qualities here. There's a lot of leader qualities here. Um, and success. So I don't think that's bad. Let's look at your um, your Romance Angels card as well. So heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, so this card kind of creeps me out. Look at him. I'm sorry. I must get creeped out easily. Uh, but the angels are here. Um, you know, they're hidden behind her. Um, but the angels are definitely here. They're saying that there needs to be some honest communication, um, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and efforts really needed. Uh, it may be an uncomfortable conversation that needs to be uh, discussed. It, it, you may feel, you know, that you're at risk of upsetting someone here, but it's necessary to move forward. Maybe you guys need a mediator between you before you have this discussion. Someone to really steer the conversation away from the blame game. Um, but it's, it's gaining personal growth. Um, you can't always control someone else's reaction. Um, but you really need to share your feelings, um, stand for what you believe in. Um, you know, if, if you can speak up, then you're going to teach your partner what you really need in a relationship rather than just suffering in silence. Okay. So you really need to have a heart to heart conversation. Maybe this King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, maybe, you know, it, there's a conversation that needs to take place between them. And uh, it could be a little bit scary uh, because, you know, she's got her sword here that it's not up, though. She's got her sword down. It's not raised. So uh, it's time for a heart to heart conversation with someone. Uh, let your feelings known and um, things things will get better. OK, you need to make people aware of what you need in a relationship. OK. So uh, number three, if you pick the crystal ball, let's look at your first four cards for this week. Okay, you guys got the five of pentacles, keywords abandonment. Don't get scared. Uh, you guys got the death card in the Marcellus deck. It looks scary, but don't be scared. Uh, in the Rider Waite deck, you guys got the strength reversed. And... In the Gilded deck, you guys got the High Priestess. Okay. So, um, okay. Let's start with the Five of Pentacles. Let's get that out of the way. Um, so, this is abandonment. So, someone might feel isolated. Uh, there could be money issues. There could be rejection. Um, there could be fear. There could be risk. Um, this is definitely a sad card. But it's saying that not all is lost. Uh, you might fear that you've lost everything, um, but it's not reality, okay? 
Um, there may be risk of losing a relationship, feeling alone, or there could even be a breakup here. Um, but it's it's left you feeling sad. It's left you feeling rejected, uh, really left out in the cold here. Okay, but don't be scared because it could just, it's not reality. It could just be in your mind. Maybe um, you're thinking about it too much. Okay, and you guys got the high priestess here. This is a positive card. So not all your cards here are negative. The high priestess, um, she's able to access higher knowledge. Um, she has a mask on her face here. Um, so this represents that um, she knows mysteries and secrets, okay? Secrets may become known here, and it's going to benefit you. So um, don't be scared of these other cards. Secrets are going to come out, and they're really going to benefit you. So follow your intuition. Trust your instincts. Um, look again because you may have missed something. Um, there's a lot of feminine energy with this card. Um, it, it's it's um, being interested in the more uh, complex energy complex aspects of life so um getting a deeper knowledge of the mysteries of life and really following your intuition um so look at something again um with the five of pentacles here maybe look at something again because uh you feel like you've lost everything maybe you haven't okay and then you guys got strength in reverse um this could be a leo um, but this is abuse of power, this is weakness, this is discord, um, this is feeling oppressed um, by someone in a cruel way. Um, someone may be um, putting obstacles in your path and, um, you know, that's going to come out, okay? Something's going to come out here, Um and, and you shouldn't feel weak in a situation because um, this person can defy gravity and they really know the secrets here. And this this could be you. So follow your intuition and um, don't, don't feel weak. Um, you can overcome your fears here. You can overcome your enemies. Um, you defy the laws of gravity and... It, you know, you can float above a situation and really see what's going on. That's how I feel here. Okay, so don't feel weak um, in a situation. Okay, final card, you guys. I know. It's death. But don't be scared of death. Um, you know, this is a Scorpio sign. And, and Scorpio has to do with emotions. And it's an intuitive sign. So once again, like the High Priestess, I think that secrets are going to be coming out. Um, and don't be scared of the death card because death is to be celebrated. Um, in, in the Mexican holiday, Day of the Dead, you know, they don't mourn death. They celebrate it. Um, you know, the Day of the Dead is the story of resurrection and rebirth. And um, 13 is the number of death and destruction, but it's also the number of faith, hope, and rebirth. So not all is lost here. You know, there could have been a breakup and you're, you're feeling, you know, like it's dead and it's over with. But I think there's going to be some resurrection or rebirth. Uh, there's some mysteries that are going to come out. So be strong and be brave um, because you're not seeing everything here. There's a lot hidden here. Um, I see a lot of mysteries going on, okay? So let's look at your Romance Angel card. Ooh, that was a spooky reading. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so, you know, you're feeling weak here. You've lost your strength. So what you need to do is you need to allow assist assistance from your friends. Maybe discuss your feelings, your hopes, and your dreams with your friends. Um, perhaps they can offer you some support or give some advice to you, to you, excuse me, um, and help you. Um, 
Maybe one of those friends that you go to for advice could be a potential partner. Um, so you will benefit from talking to them in a relationship. Um, you know, it's always healthy to spend time away from your partner and time with your friends. Um, get some fresh, fresh energy from someone else. Um, and if you're single, maybe your friends can introduce you to a new romantic partner and, uh, you'll find that love that you're really seeking. So, um, get out there, hang out with your friends, have a good time and talk about your feelings, why you're feeling so weak and, um, feeling abandoned in a situation. Your friends can really help you. So, um, I think this week, if you pick number three, uh, you're going to be strong, you're going to be brave, uh, you're going to overcome your weaknesses here, okay? So I like all these readings. Uh, they're not perfect, but life isn't per perfect, is it? So um, thank you guys. Subscribe to my channel. Look down below if you would like to purchase any of these decks. I will have the links down there for you. And um, thank you so much, and I have hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.